back everyone to lesson four. Um, so we're moving through our rhythms this week and as ever let's start with a bit of a jam. Here we go with the rhythms. Are you ready? Drum ready? Here we go.
Last one. stopping playing and listening to it is just to start hearing that music in phrases again. So last week we were talking about that sense of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we played with moving our, our heavy note around between one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Now, if we're thinking of a count of four, there's also space in between those beats. So one, you could fit in one and two and three and four and so that hand is filling in the spaces I'll play that again one and two and three and four and but for this week we're going to think about that and in between the beat one two three four one and two and three and four and so if you see my hands here um, this week I'm playing all the big beats with my right hand and all the what you call the off beats or the up beats in the middle one and two and three and four and ready with the left hand let's bring it in in the one the one two three four away and just play those beats in the middle with the other hand so bring it back in for now and then take that hand away and now you should just be hearing those beats in the middle from the loop and what I find is if I'm playing off beats there's usually some part of my body that's keeping the downbeat. It's much, much easier for me rather than trying to go to, to have something giving that down from which you to do those upbeats in the middle. Don't worry if this feels horrible. <laughs> the more you listen to it, the easier it will get. Bring our other hand back in, and that should feel so much easier. Ah. And then if I take that one away for a rest, we're back to our one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's um, let's bring this hand in again. We'll do one more lap around that little activity. So we'll bring it in. quickly with some of the rhythms we've been learning just to to find out where we are so that's our old favorite
favourite from a couple of weeks ago. we are in a rhythm and we know where the one is, the easier it is to start putting all these rhythms together um, as if it's a jigsaw and that will help you if you ever end up going out to a drumming group or you know taking rhythms on once all this is over. Um, even if you're making up your own rhythms with a group of other people to have that sense of where that one is and in all the different places you can play in in a rhythm is a great skill. So that's our skill for this week is just feeling where the downbeat is and feeling where that upbeat is. Um, so as you go through the week, see if you're listening to music, try playing along with that and just, you know, try that one hand and the other hand. Um, and that will build our muscles for rhythm number three in Fanga, um, which we'll cover next week um, because it's deceptively easy and deceptively simple. I'll give you a little preview. Um, so it starts like this. Simple enough. Anybody could do it, but it's where it sits in 